My name is Heidi Lowe, and I have Heidi Lowe Gallery, which is an art jewelry store. It's a teaching studio, and it also is a place where I make my own work. And I started 10 years ago, and we had just had our 10 year anniversary, which was very exciting. And it started out of really not being able to find a place to show my work or other artists from the field. And so I started as a way of really engaging the field and teaching about our jewelry. So, it, and our jewelry is jewelry that comes from a place of investigation and creativity rather than about the material cost or uh, a status symbol. And so it's kind of a cool intersection of art and jewelry. I started as an artist and I really um, knew I had to work on the business part. So one of my ways that I've done that is really investigate my core values. And it wasn't until maybe two years ago that I realized that jewelry, I, although I love it and although it is part of the creative process, it was really about generosity. And that's what drives my business, is the generosity piece and the people. And so it was really eye-opening to understand that for myself and then to be able to make decisions from that place. I would say that the strength of my business is its diversity. So I realized really early on that just showing five art jewelers and my own work was not going to sustain a business. And so I learned, okay, I need more. I need more in that. And, and I love to teach, so I teach. And that's a really great attribute to my business because it, it engages two different clientele, one which wants to learn to make jewelry and one which learns that they don't want to make jewelry, which in that it really makes it um, that they can buy jewelry from us and be really excited about it and understand the value much easier. And that has been a real attribute to people either coming in to take a class or buying something off the wall. A part of the business that I didn't really anticipate is the wedding aspect of my business, which is kind of funny for a jeweler. But um, I didn't know if people would be interested in a really unique item for their wedding ring or their engagement ring. And what I found is my clients find me. So if they are engaged in something that they want to be unique, then they will come here. And I get the joy of making their engagement rings or their wedding rings or something for the bridal party. And then I also have grown that into a business where people can come and make their own wedding rings for each other. And it's uh, a private class where they each, you know, from start to finish, make their bands and leave with them. As I look back at the 10 years, I, there were things that I thought that I was doing out of necessity and they were things that I thought I was compromising for my business. And it's odd because I look back and I really realize that those were the foundations of my relationships and it was that slow grow. It's like I had to really engage people and really be present and do things like sign the boxes that I send out the door with jewelry in them and now people really covet those boxes. and. I was doing that because it was less expensive and I had to start a business and that was one of the things that I decided was okay to do and now it actually, these things were my branding techniques that worked in hindsight. So I was very lucky in the fact that that's just part of who I am is I want to engage people and I want to find out who they are and it really um, resonates through all of my customer relations and they know that and almost to a fault because if I'm not here, they're missing me and that's good and bad. Um, and this is really what it's about. It's about that creative spirit, but then engaging the community. <laughs>